evacuating from Conshohocken as floodwaters swamp some of the roads there. And one of our CBS3 producers, Teresa Nazario, you've been out there. Good morning. Good to see you, Teresa. You've been out shooting some video for us on your cell phone. Joining us live there from your home right now. Tell us how things are looking. Uh, you know, uh, thank God for the, uh, you know, for the sun. But uh, yeah, things things down there uh, were not looking so great. Uh, the floodwaters. Um, I went down to the Fayette Street Bridge to take a look at floodwaters there, and they uh, had spilled all the way over the train tracks. Uh, I know that from other reports that. They've spilled into parking lots uh, over at Londonberry and Riverwalk Apartments. Um, when I was down there take, uh, shooting that video, one thing that was kind of odd that you probably can't hear is that the alarms are going off as though a train is coming. So it's just a constant ding, 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 ding. And yet, of course, there's no train because there's no train going on those, on those spots right now. Um, I do know also that the traffic lights were out uh, down near there, so traffic was a little bit uh, slow, although everybody was being very patient. Uh, Conshohocken Borough was closed today. The community center is closed today. They did that yesterday, knowing that this was going to be bad, but I don't even know if they knew it was going to be this bad. And that's what we've been hearing from so many people this morning. We knew there was going to be flooding, but not quite to this extent. Teresa, can you give us a sense of how quickly the water level rose where you are? You know what? I, because I wasn't right down there during the whole time when it went up, I, I can't say. I did spend, of course, part of, my, uh, part of my evening in the basement because of the tornado warnings that we were going through. Uh, but I did see on Twitter while I was following it that uh, there were concerns that it was going to be rising very, very quickly. And somebody commented when I tweeted out a, a shot, they said it looks like Agnes in the 70s. Uh, people have been mm -hmm. mentioning that. People have been mentioning, com comparing and, it to and different... And what's interesting is Concha Hawkin didn't look like that in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. So I can only imagine what it was like then versus now. And a lot of those business campuses in Concha Hawkin in that area, they all have the underground parking. You know, and that's the other thing, too. You know, we can only see what we can see with the naked eye right now, but you don't know what's underneath the water right. in those buildings. Right, and we're still that's waiting right. for the water. And there's to also receive. new construction down there yeah. right on the school as well. And I don't know how hard that's being hit right now. Well, uh, Teresa Nazario, our, uh, our special projects producer, CBS3, thank you so much, uh, Teresa, for checking in with us. Glad you're uh, safe. Yeah, glad and you're okay. Mm. All right.